What's going on everybody? It's your boy SBJ back with another video. So we are on part something. I don't even remember what part it is, but it will be numbered in the title of Truth About Instagram Growth. Hashtag Instagram Fridays. So last week I didn't give you guys what the topic of this video would be because I was running low on time and because I wasn't 100% sure where I wanted to go. But because I tried to pack so much into last week's video, I didn't really get to go in depth with hashtags, so that's what we'll be doing today. There will be some recap. This is a new video. You need this information. So let's go in depth. What are hashtags? Hashtags are what Instagram uses to index different pictures. It's really that simple. Why do you need them? It's very simple. Because without that indexing, Instagram has no idea where your picture should go. And that means that it's only going to be seen by your followers, but not all your followers. Instagram has this weird algorithm and there are many parts to it, but the Instagram tries to show you things that you like. So if you like a certain type of picture from a bunch of different places, Instagram tries to show you more of that type of picture. So if you have somebody who you're following and they don't post those type of pictures that you've been shown to like and they're not that big you might not see most of their pictures unless you go to their page it's fine when you're talking about people you're following but it works the same way all the way around so people that you follow aren't always going to see your stuff so now that we got that out of the way let me reiterate the categories that I put hashtags in. Bear with me, I may not use the same exact terms that I did last week. You have your branding tags. Those are the tags that you use all the time that have to do with what you're doing, your page, what it is, what your brand is, what you represent. You want to have those. You want to use those, like I said, all the time because it's, not, it's an identifying factor. It's something that people will just know. If they know you, if you're on some other type of social network or they know you from somewhere else and they know your brand they can just search for your brand and find all of your work as far as branding tags i use three i use nag district because there was nobody else using that that is literally strictly for the purpose of branding nothing else i use hashtag nag life because there's not a bunch of people using that and the people that will I could potentially pull them in and I use embrace yourself same thing with the nag life not too many people using it but there are other people using it I could potentially pull them in that brings me to my second type of hashtag which is the kind of popular one where it may be anywhere from zero to hundreds of thousands of people using this hashtag on their pictures. These type of tags are probably the best for growth because it's easier to reach the top posts for those tags because it's not as much competition. I've started using a couple of these and almost every time I post, I rank in a couple of those hashtags. So it's really good because, like I said, if you have somebody that just so happens to use that same hashtag and they search for it, they're going to see you in the top, I think it's nine, top nine posts, and they might give you a like, might even give you a follow, you never know. Lastly, there are the mega popular ones, the ones that are sitting at million plus. You know, some of the ones that are at one million or so, you might still be able to manipulate depending on your following. You might be able to still manipulate to work in your favor but most of the ones in the tens of millions and hundreds of millions unless you have a huge following you're not going to rank in those but that's not why you use them even when you use those tags someone that's searching for that tag could look below the top post and see recent uses of that tag and you might be there also if it's super popular as far as how many people post, it's super popular as in how many people search for it. Um, best examples are things like hashtag follow for follow, like for likes, uh, shout out for shout out. Those type tags, you 
you can throw those in every now and then because there are always going to be people looking for those. But there may be some super popular ones that people aren't really looking for that often. They just use a lot. So, like love. I'm no oracle or anything, but I'm I'm going to go ahead and put out there that I believe that you're not going to find too many people that just go on Instagram, go to the search page, and type in hashtag love and look for, I just don't, I don't think that's the case. So how do you find hashtags? How do you know which ones to use? Well, I gave you the three different types, in my opinion, my, my breakdown of them. And it's really simple. All you have to do is go to the search page and type in a hashtag. You have a niche, you make up something um, that's relating to what you do. So to give you an example of one of the things I did, I was looking for a hashtag that I could use on the regular that I could kind of dominate in a way. And I do photography on my page. One of the things that has become a staple with my photography, I don't do it on every picture, but I've really gravitated towards my photos having a very vibrant feel, very, very colorful. So what I did was I went to the search page on Instagram, went to tags, typed in hashtag deep color. Boom. Now I use that just about every day, if not every day. If I go to hashtag deep color, there may be about 5,000 posts at this point, but as of a little bit before I started recording, when I searched that hashtag, I'm ranked for two pictures. But that was just a simple thing. It, I looked at what I do on my page, and I just thought of something that related, a phrase that related to what I do, searched it, it was pretty low as far as how many people were using it, but there were still people using it, so I decided to use it. And now I rank on that every day. I'm gonna go ahead and end this because I got some Instagram stuff to do. So, I'm SBJ. Until next time, remember, embrace yourself.